Hey, welcome back to Baird Squid. In this video, we're going to be doing part two in problem solving three dimensional shapes using Pythagoras. Coming up. So the question I left you to solve in the last video was the following. A, B, C, D, E is a square base pyramid. The apex of the pyramid E is directly above M. That's the point of intersection of AC and BD. So that's the midpoint here. M is the midpoint between AC and BD. And the apex is right above it. Remember the diagonals of a square intersect at 90 degrees. And since E is directly above the midpoint, it stands perpendicular to the base, which means that that is also at 90 degrees. And so you can see in the rotating image that if I flip it to the bottom, you can see a set of 90 degree angles. And if I bring it back to the side view, you can see as it's rotating that EM is perpendicular to the base. It's at 90 degrees. So moving on, it says all edges of the pyramid are 10 centimeters long. Now that includes the base and the edges running from the base to the apex. They're all 10 centimeters long. Find the height of the pyramid to the nearest millimeter. So this means that we are going to end up doing some rounding. So let's start off then. This is a two part process. Part one is I need to find the diagonal that runs along the bottom. So if I draw that, I have a triangle that's ABD. I know that the edge AB is 10 centimeters and AD is also 10 centimeters. But I don't know what the hypotenuse is. So I'm just going to label that X. And now I can use Pythagoras to set up an equation to solve for X. So X squared is equal to 10 squared plus 10 squared. X squared is equal to 100 plus 100, which is 200. And then the inverse of X squared is to square root the opposite side. So X is equal to the square root of 200. And remember, X is going to be a positive value. So therefore, we only take the positive square root. So since we're going to be rounding the final answer to the nearest millimeter, we can go ahead and find the square root of 200 to two decimal places. So we have 14.14 centimeters, which is basically rounded off to the nearest millimeter. Okay, so for the second part of the process, we need to now work out the height EM using the base that we just found. And we already know that this edge is 10 centimeters. So let's set up a triangle. We have EMB and we know that all edges of the pyramid are 10 centimeters long. So that means our hypotenuse EB is going to be 10 centimeters. So that length of there is 10 centimeters. We know that the base MB is going to be a half of 14.14 which in this case is 7.07 .07 centimeters. And we can label the final length EM as Y. So that's the variable that I'm trying to find out. Okay, so I'm going to set this up again. So we've got more space to work this out. As Y squared plus 7.07 .07 squared is equal to 10 squared. Now if I move the 7.07 .07 squared to the right hand side, I would get Y squared is equal to 10 squared minus 7.07 .07 squared which will give me y squared is equal to 100 minus 50, 10 squared is 100, and 7.07 .07 squared is about 50. It's 49.99999, which gives me about 50. So now if I do 100 minus 50, I would get y is equal to the square root of 50, and the square root of 50 is about 7.07 .07 centimeters. So therefore, the height of the pyramid to the nearest millimeter is about 7.07 .07 centimeters. If you need more help on solving 3D shapes using Pythagoras or even the basic shapes using Pythagoras, I have a whole playlist that I'll link at the end of the video. So you're welcome to go and watch that. As always, thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, drop me a like. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one.